Hello YouTube. What I've got, I'm working on a 2005 diesel 6.0 excursion with 4x4. This is the front passenger side axle shaft. Started out just needing to replace one of the seals on this thing. Ended up replacing all the tie rods, all the U-joints, all the seals gasket covers this project has just kept growing and growing and i'm finally starting to put this thing back together anyway this particular part was probably the worst for me because i ended up damaging one of the yokes using a traditional c-clamp style um, press which you're really not supposed to use on these however got one of these babies off good old amazon these are u-joint pullers this one is the oem tools 24548 for heavy duty, I believe, is what they call for on this one. Well, I don't have the box. Maybe it's medium duty. Anyway, this is not the light duty cup. So if, you're, if you've got an excursion or one of these super duties, you probably want to get this if you're going to pull U-joints. Two, four, five, four, eight. I also bought the smaller version, which I had some limited success with. The way this works, though, I've already pulled one of these caps off, but if the cap were there, it works the same. Get this loosened up sticker under here. Line this up as directly above that U-joint as you can. So you're pulling in a, a straight plane, not jamming anything. Get her snug down by hand. And then just start cranking. And you may need an impact gun. These are rated for impact wrenches. If it doesn't come by hand. That one is pretty well stuck, so I'm going to use the impact gun. Wrench, impact wrench. There we go. Now we're moving. Don't overdo her. Get that out of the way. When I got this, I also, see if I can get her in the camera there, I pulled this apart, took the little C-clip off here, I greased the threads, and I greased the, um, the mating surfaces inside underneath that cap so that the whole thing has grease in it and just makes it work quite a bit better. But you do have to pull that C-clip off to get the grease in there. Anyway, it works a lot better once you grease it, just a little bit messy. It'll probably last a lot longer though. Okay, so what we just did, we popped out a very rusty, very seized, oh wow, boy that is nasty. These, uh, these are just in pieces. I guess that means they were fairly high quality because they shattered, so they're fairly hard. I can't really see the camera. But look at those little, those little fragments in there. You couldn't tell by spinning it, rotating the, the joint, that these were bad. But these little, little needle bearings are just smashed all to pieces. And if you look at it, it looks like the last guy, uh, that, the center of that is just full of little fragments of needle. What it looks like they did, since there's some dents along the edge here, is they probably put this cup on and they didn't verify that the that the needle bearings were all around the properly seated around the outside of the bearing. They put it on there with a bunch of bearings laying sideways, and when they hammered it in place, they probably smashed those all to pieces day one. And every day since then, the thing's just been grinding around. So that's why our U-joint is bad. That's pretty comical, really. That's really nasty looking. Anyway, that's how that U-joint puller works. And now we can get this big guy here out of the way. Oh, that thing's probably 50 or 60 pounds. Okay. Finish pulling this thing apart.
So make sure you're centered and you're seated over something. Let's see if this will work. And I've already gone through and there's some little, little C rings that were around here. I've already pulled all the retainers off. Flip it over, get everything lined up. Try to get everything lined up here. It's not wanting to line up. What's going on here? Not want to line up. There we go. I spent hours trying to pull this apart with other other pullers. This is the worst seized U joint I've ever messed with. Let's see if I can get us in frame here. Yeah, more or less. There we go. Boy, whoever put these things together did a a pretty poor job of it. You shouldn't have needles falling out. Well, that's nasty. Trying to get all little pieces to fall out of the end there. That thing is packed full of little shards from the smashed needles. That whole top edge is dented from where the needles were probably pressed together when they first assembled this thing. Has a grease fitting. Yeah, they greased it, it would have helped a little, but wouldn't have fixed those sideways needles. There we go. That one's missing. That was missing about half of the needles, and I didn't see them fall out. That may have. Something else I found with the last one of these I put together is that if you'll take an angle grinder and just, just touch these edges where those C-rings, C-clips clip in and retain the, the cups, if you'll just touch these surfaces, it'll go back together a whole lot more smoothly and not bind up just get rid of the rust and take off just the tiniest bit of metal but that's all there is to it so that's to pull them apart get yourself a puller on amazon that's oem tools 24548 currently these guys are not sending me any money for this but i wouldn't mind if they did and then when you're putting this back together you can use one of these. That's not supposed to. Come on, get off of there. Well, that's not gonna come off there. That's jammed on there. That's not supposed to be there. Use this to push it all back together without that cup on there. 
And then to push your vacuum seal on, I'll have to make you another video of that, but if you don't have a hydraulic press, you're gonna be pretty sorely out of luck. Even if you do have all the other right tools, you need to have a hydraulic press to, um, to push the vacuum seal back onto this baby. Because it's a metal on metal friction fit. And I've been really happy so far with the uh, the spicer parts. But there's your vacuum seal to activate the 4x4. And you will need a hydraulic press to push that on there correctly. I've seen guys hammering these things together and all you're doing is destroying it when you take a hammer to it. But I'll show you that in a later video. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Sorry it's been such a long-winded one. But uh, get yourself one of these. They're about $100 and they are worth every penny they're worth about five hundred dollars but that's a good one tiger tools makes another brand i've never used the tiger tools i've used quite a few of the oem tools and i've been happy with uh, the hardness of the metals it all seems to to be made proper nothing's uh, nothing's stripping out yet okay thanks for watching if you like this one please like and subscribe it helps our videos get out to more people and uh, we'd appreciate seeing you there Drop me a comment if you have any questions or would like to see a different video. Thank you.